You're not. Welcome to another live where you're doing veggie chicken noodle soup and the Tupperware pressure cooker. I've been promising this video for a while. Okay, this is our Tupperware pressure cooker. It's got a max fuel line. The only thing I wish they would have darkened it and embossed it in like black ink so you could see it. It's the same color as the cooker and it's hard to see sometimes. This is your lid. You've got your good sealing silicone seal. You have your air valve and you have your little gauge valve. So when you put it in the microwave and it pressures up, it's going to, that little valve is going to stay up. And then when you take out the pressure cooker, the valve is going to go down. And then that for you wait about ten minutes, and then it goes down. And that's when you know it's safe to uh, open. Of course, you have your extra safety handle here too. <clears throat> okay, so we're using the Morning Stars Farm chicken strips. They're boneless and skinless. And I just chopped them up to more bite sauce pieces. I chopped up a couple handfuls of baby carrots and two stalks of celery. Everything is going in this. going to do is I've got some garlic cloves about two to four or more we like garlic so I put a little bit more and our Tupperware prepping chef is the mini chopper I call it the mini chopper it's a pull string and you've got your blades and so we just you can hold it and just pull it and it just chops away or you put it on the counter and it has a silicone base so it won't move on you. So if you have it on the counter or table and moving it, you won't move. So we just chopped up our cloves of garlic. Get them down in there. All that garlic. Also, we've got a half an onion, minced, and we had it left over from where we had um, the veggie hot dogs on Friday, so I just kept it in the refrigerator because I knew it was going to make soup, so we don't waste. And I chopped it up in the little chop and prep that day, too, for the veggie hot dogs. Now we're going to put in about a cup of peas. You put any veggies you want to in yours. We're also going to put about a cup of spinach. And this is frozen, frozen chopped spinach, but it's okay if it's frozen. Because it will thaw out as it cooks. going to come with our seasonings and all the things to taste I like rosemary and thyme in my chicken noodle soup so here's some rosemary rosemary and I'm rubbing it through my fingers so it wakes up the oils in it and breaks it in smaller pieces and then we're also going to put in Some time too. We're going to put in some dried parsley flakes. <clears throat> We're 
we're going to put in some pepper and some salt to taste. Now, if your uh, chicken broth is salty, watch your salt. Mine don't have any salt at all in it. Salt. And then we're going to come over with water and go up to the fill line. Just a tad bit more. Should be about four, four to four cups to four and a half. Is the, there's our fill on now. Okay, now we're going to put our noodles in, plus our chicken broth. And I'm using our vegan vegetarian chicken broth. It's the powder, so you follow the back of the how much to put in to the ratio of your water. <clears throat> Which. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to give that a stir a little bit. <clears throat> Someone wants to know where to find that vegan broth, broth base. Um, some grocery stores carry it. Mine don't. I know Whole, Food, Whole Foods and Kroger's does. But I got mine online at um, either fakemeats.com or um, veganessentials.com. Probably Trader Joe's probably has something like that. Fashion wide egg noodles using the kind of noodles you want. I'm not going to use the whole bag, we're just going to put some in. It's okay if they break up with two your hands. Probably a half a bag is what we're going to put in and put them all over the floor like I did too. May stir that and look at my noodle ratio. I think that is good. So let me get them down in there. Okay. Now we're going to take our lid and there's notches. There's an arrow for here for uh, opening and then there's an arrow this way for sealing. And there is a little arrow right here on this handle. So you take this arrow, your big triangle, and line it up with that one. And then you follow the sealing position, which is this way. Make sure it's sealed all the way so it can't go no more. And then we put our safety handle to unlock it. All right going to the microwave for about 20-25 minutes. We're going to go 25. And then you just wait for it. It did get done, bring it on the microwave, let that sit for that little orange valve to go back down, and then you know it's safe to open, and then you're just ready to eat. It's real simple. So, I'll come back with video number two.